everyone, how's it going? It is Chris here, and today we are doing another cigar unboxing and uh, review and giveaway. So, triple threat today. Uh, today we are looking at the Ave Maria Argentum Robusto. Um, this uh, cigar is made by uh, AJ Fernandez, and uh, it is out of, uh, out of Nicaragua. So, um, really, really, really nice... Uh, uh, really nice cigar. Um, uh, you're gonna like this one here. I've had it in the past. Um, bought one um, quite a while ago, actually, and then uh, I thought I um, I definitely need um, a box of these. So I ended up buying a box of them. Actually, I bought quite a few different. Uh, I wouldn't say quite a few different boxes, but a few different boxes of these. Um, uh, Ave Maria. Um, uh, cigars so uh, really like them uh, the, the one that really kind of got me uh, started um, with the uh, um, these uh, these cigars here was the was the dark knight uh, never had one before uh, saw it uh, tried it out fell in love with it and uh, and thought I definitely um, need one of these so then it started to become, I wouldn't say an addiction, but or a collecting kind of thing. But I uh, I was really impressed with uh, with them, and I thought I uh, I should try, um, you know, a broad uh, variety of them in the different vitolas they come in and the different um, different makes they. Um, and from what I found, um, they all smoke different and they all taste different. Uh, case in point, this one here, uh, the length of this, uh, this guy here is, uh, 4.8, uh, inches, uh, 52 ring gauge, uh, full strength, and it's a uh, Majero wrapper. Um, the wrapper on it is a Connecticut Broadleaf. Binder is Nicaraguan, and same with the filler. And again, it is from, uh, Nicaragua. And you can see that this, uh, this box that it comes in here, it's, uh, it's crazy, uh, handmade, super glossy uh, box, you know, and it's, it's just really, really cool. You can kind of see it here. I really like the, uh, the silver on it as well, you know, and the Templar cross and, and everything else about this, about this guy here. Let's see if I can focus on that for you. There we go. All right. So, um, oh, and, uh, you know, I'll take this aside here for a second. And you can see this, this here is a Knights Templar uh, apron, about 180, 170 to 180 years old. And uh, I, brought, I brought it to Perceptory a few times, showed it around to a lot of the guys. And then some of the, from the Grand Perceptory of Canada was in visiting us once. Um, and they were really interested in looking at it. Uh, they, uh, we knew they were coming and, um, they knew about these really rare and old aprons that I have, uh, from the Templars. So they, um, they wanted to, uh, to take a look at them. So they asked me to bring them in. So I brought this one in and from what we can kind of determine that this is a, uh, death apron. Um, it is... It is different than the last one that I brought out. Uh, this one here. This was the uh, the apron that they they wore to preceptory on a regular basis. You know, back in the day when they wore the black uniform. Uh, very, very, very cool. Love the skull and crossbones on this one here. Um, and uh, I don't know if I could uh, kind of reveal what what that the skull and crossbones. Uh, mean I don't think it's a real secret in the Masons or anything like that um, you know when you become a Freemason you're not supposed to tell the secrets um, of a Mason uh, and it's only I mean anybody can look it up online but a man is only as good as his word right so when you give your word uh, to somebody uh, or to an organization or friends uh, you should honor that word so um, so uh, yeah, but you'll you'll see. You could look it up. It's 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 not it's not hard to look up. So 
Um, but that is a um, uh, a, uh, a symbol of, of Freemasonry is the skull and crossbones, and it is very significant in uh, when you become a master mason. It becomes more uh, more predominant, more significant, and um, and you could see. I'll tell you a little quick story here about this, these skull and crossbones, and it's pretty cool. You may or may not have heard it, um, but Walt Disney was a Freemason. And if you look at any of the old Disney shows and movies that he put out, every single solitary movie and TV show, there's a Masonic symbol in it. Whether it's uh, the um, uh, square and compass in the clouds or in the background or in somebody, something Masonic, every single solitary show. And trust me on this, I've seen most of them since I've become a Mason. And they're all there. You just got to go and look for it. So if you're a Disney fan... Uh, go check it out. But the very biggest, biggest thing that Disney put out, in, and, and a lot of the, the symbols that he put in the Disney shows, you kind of got to look for them. But there was one that he put out that everybody saw. Absolutely every single person saw. You couldn't miss it. And that was from the movie Blackbeard. And in the movie Blackbeard... This was the symbol, the skull and crossbones. It has nothing to do with pirates. Pirates never used the skull and crossbones. That's a Masonic symbol. Very, 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 very Masonic symbol. So Walt well, Disney put that out as plain as plain could be, as this massive Master Mason um, symbol for the world to see. And to this day, everybody thinks it's a pirate symbol, but has absolutely nothing to do with pirates like absolutely nothing it's freemasonry so um yeah so anyway that's a little little bit of uh side knowledge there a little bit of um uh easter eggs for you there in this video uh so let's open this uh this guy up here and take a look uh yeah so we'll uh we'll see here you can see that i got the uh this one here, this is when it was boxed, so uh, quite, quite new. I normally like to age my um, my uh, my cigars for about a good year before I uh, before I enjoy them. Um, I have had them at uh, I bought them uh, some of these at uh, some of the cigar shops. I was at in uh, in Florida, and I really like this, so that's why I ended up buying uh, a box of these. So, anyway, let's open this guy up. And again, we're going to open it up with this absolutely stunning, stunning knife from Alexander Forsyth and Delta 7, the, uh, the links. Check them out. God, this thing is sharp. Holy cow, look at, look at how bright that box is. That's insane. Oh, it's slippery too. Like, look at how shiny this thing is. Should probably be wearing gloves so I don't get my fingerprints all over this. But what a beautiful box! I'm trying to do this here without without cutting myself or destroying the box. Jeez. Oh my goodness! Look at that, eh? All right. So there are the cigars. Very, very, very nice. I am looking forward to trying these, and I'm looking forward to trying them. Um, you know, I'm gonna have one. Pro I'm probably gonna enjoy one this summer on the uh, on my patio. Uh, I'm gonna put them in the humidor and let them sit and age for a while. And uh, and then a year from now, I'm gonna come back and uh, and try them again and go over my notes and and kind of compare. Um, what I think of them after, you know, maybe four or five months uh, sitting in my humidor and, uh, and uh, after a year of sitting in the humidor. Uh, I've got a lot of really nicely aged cigars in my humidor uh, up to, you know, a year, sometimes two, two, three years. And uh, they just keep getting better and better with age. But uh, yeah, so this cigar here, like I said, it's... Uh, um, it's it's got kind of got the morning star of Atola to it. Uh, 
it's a it's a medium to full bodied i would say closer to full bodied uh, cigar from what i could uh i remember on my notes but i don't know how long um the cigar shop that i bought them and tried it at uh had aged it so to me it felt like a, a little stronger cigar but um i think it's you know it could be between medium to full bodied i'll uh, i'll let you know this summer and 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 maybe in a year from now when uh when i try them after a bit of age on them and maybe you can let me know too because uh, i'm going to be giving one of these guys away and um i'm going to put this in one of our humidors uh the humidor that we've got going and um when you try it out whoever wins it you can let us know what you think of it um but yeah it's a it's a, like i said it's a medium to full bodied cigar super super dark like very 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 dark um and oily um uh, maduro wrapper to it um let's see if we can get this thing open here there we go yeah you can see how dark this thing is eh like really really dark wrapper you can see that it's like crazy oily eh a nice, it's a nice wrapper on that one. That is a nice cigar. Love it. All right. So yeah, super dark and oily uh, Maduro uh, Connecticut broadleaf wrapper, and, uh, and and a real great blend of of Nicaraguan long fillers to it. Um, Flavors, um, from what what I've got uh, written down from my from my notes last time I had it, um, back uh, back last um, uh, last uh, late late winter there was uh, was dark chocolate, uh, coffee, leather, uh, kind of a sweeter cedar uh, to it, uh, light spice, uh, kind of floating around in the background uh, to the cigar. So, uh, nothing really overpowering though, from what I could really remember, just crazy flavorful, like lot, lots of intense flavors to it, lots going on with this cigar. Um, and I think, you know, after a bit of age sitting in a humidor, uh, it's going to really improve and really kind of, kind of mellow out to more of a medium cigar. And a lot of those, um, those coffee, um, and dark chocolate flavors are going to come right out of this thing. So very 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 nice cigar i think you're gonna like this one so um so yeah let's get this bad boy here in the humidor and uh and see what we see what we have so far for uh for you so we'll take this off here and on down like they say and the price is right so we have got the um alec bradley black market Esteli uh, torpedo we've got the rocky patel the edge a10 with that really really cool uh, maduro and corojo uh, wrapper barber hole wrapper the brick house mighty mighty maduro the la perli uh, la perla 1515 um to celebrate 500 years of uh, Cuban um, premium cigar making from uh, A.J. Fernandez. Uh, the Drew Estate Isla de Sol, a beautiful Maduro uh, cigar. And the CAO V660 Flathead, a really nice uh, uh, cigar, nice box press Maduro wrapper on that one. Um, the Cinco Vegas Gold, lots of uh, milk chocolate, and uh, toffee flavors, um, coffee, uh, very smooth. Uh, same with the Alec Bradley White Gold, the Buffalo Trace Robusto, the Alec Bradley Corio Coil, and the Diesel Unlimited Disciple um, Lancero. This is a really that's a really nice cigar. And this guy here, oh my God, it's one of my favorites. The uh, Ave Maria Knights Templar. Oh my goodness! And uh, and then the uh, there we go. The Argentum now. And look at the difference between these two wrappers here. You can see 
You can see what the difference between like a natural wrapper, like in the Knight Templar, and a dark Majora wrapper, like in the Argentum here. So uh, uh, side by side, you can really see the uh, the difference in wrappers. So um, yeah, I really appreciate this, guys. Uh, when I started this off, did not think I was going to get to a hundred subscribers as quickly as I did. And uh, uh, you guys are unbelievably amazing, and uh, have completely one hundred percent blown me away. So I, uh, um, we're definitely going to be giving this humidor away because, uh, as of today, I've got 126 subscribers. So that's pretty cool. I'm pretty happy about that. This little channel here is, is, uh, is slowly growing and it's all because of you. Um, so, uh, let's get this guy filled up. Um, I don't know how many we've got here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 cigars. So we're going to be able to fit quite a few more in here. So um, we're going to get this filled up for you. And if we can get to 250 subscribers um, before this humidor is full, I'll give uh, two humidors away um, of, uh, of cigars. So at least I can do for you for, uh, for being so amazing to me. Because uh, you guys just make me really, really happy. And uh, I'd like to return the favor. But um, so please like and subscribe and uh, have yourself a really, really great day. And thank you so much for everything. Bye bye.